everybody and welcome to this video and I'm going to be telling you how to make live streams with OBS Studio. I will be telling you how to download OBS. I am also going to be telling you how to make scenes, timers and how to actually go live. So make sure to watch the whole thing to uh, get the whole process. And I know currently my mic is a bit bad but please bear with me and uh, we will try to fix it very soon for the next videos. So first step is to download OBS Studio. So we have to go to the website obsproject.com where you can download OBS Studio. And this is a bit of an important step because you have to click what you have. So if your computer or laptop or whatever you have is Windows, uh, the, the software, you have to press Windows. And when you hover on it, it will tell you the uh, available uh, windows that you can uh, have. So Windows 7, Windows 10, uh, those are examples. Here, you, if you have an Apple, you press Mac OS. And if you have a Linux, uh, you press uh, that button. And after you download OBS, just follow the steps you get on your screen. Don't be afraid to allow it to make changes to your computer, just click yes and uh, yes, it won't harm your computer, definitely. So once you download OBS, uh, you have to uh, do some setups. So these are going to be some clips on from the beginning to the end on how to stream on OBS. And again, I'm sorry that my mic is a bit bad, but yes, follow these steps and uh, I'll see you at the end of the video. Now you have downloaded OBS. So what you have to do now is go here and click the plus. These are the available scenes. So to add a scene, technically scenes, what they are is like you have like a bunch of scenes ready prepared before you press go live. We will be talking about that later. But uh, you have to make like a screen off option when you're toggling to some stuff that you don't want your audience to see. And then we have, you can make like the game that you're playing visible. And then you can just make full screen visible. And uh, you can also make a timer. I will be telling you how to make a timer live stream. Over here you can see is when I made a, a timer live stream myself. So yes, but how to create a new scene? Press add. Then you uh, can rename the scene however you want. I'm just going to rename it new scene. Guys, as you can see, you can see what I am renaming and stuff. And that's because sometimes when you record, the, those stuff are automatically blurred. Even when I set up the timer, it is invisible. So I will be talking and, and telling you what you have to do. So if you don't see the stuff, don't worry. One, so, and then you press OK, and then you can see the screen is black, and this is the preview. And then to to actually make it visible, you have to press transition if it's on studio mode. If it's not studio mode, you don't have to worry about that. But I suggest doing a studio mode. And over here you have a new scene. Then you have sources over here, as you can see where my mouse is. This is important because without sources scenes are basically useless so what you have to do is press add and over here you will have a bunch of options you can have an audio out input capture a display capture which is uh, like I think the most important one here or a text capture so let's go with a display capture so we have display capture and do it create new i'll just do display capture number three and I don't have any like apps open. If you have some games or apps open, they will come here. But I have display one. So I will press OK. And as you can see now, my screen is visible. Let's turn off studio mode. And let's switch to the scene. And as you can see, my full screen is now visible over here. So uh, if you don't want the audience at a certain point of the scene to see this, you can always turn it off and boom, it goes off. And let's turn it on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make like a text. So let's turn this off actually for now. And let's do some text. Maybe you want some text. So text experiment. Let's do a text experiment the name. 
and over here you can write the text so let's do for example so again guys over here when i am writing the text the setup it is not visible because of the recording and uh, what uh, i basically done is added the plus text gui and then the, the screen will just tell you the steps and right now uh, what i am basically doing is that uh, i am uh, writing welcome to the stream i choose i chose my font and uh, you can uh, always uh, adjust your uh, font size and what i suggest doing is making your font size uh, a bit big because you can always resize it and uh, right now over here i'm going to show you how to make gradients so what you have to do is choose a color when you have there to, to choose a color maybe orange that is just an example and then you press color gradient you choose another color and as you can see right now on screen the text has like an orange start and it goes more reddish when it's to the end and right now as you can see i am resizing the text you can make it as big as uh, you want and when you're done obviously you can turn it off and on and uh, as i already explained at a certain point in the stream if you don't want the text to be visible you press that i button and stuff and uh, yes that's technically it let's go, go back to the what i'm saying the, open the app and then you can start streaming and i will tell you how to do that okay so now i'm going to be telling you how to make a timer so okay before we see how we stream i haven't told you how to do a timer yet so let's go to this page where i have my timer so what to do to have a timer is i will uh, wait so let me do this so you're going to have to go to tools i think yes and then you go to again guys i actually can't uh, be showing how to do a, a timer because the recording cuts it out but what you have to do is search for how to make a timer on google or something like that and you don't have to watch that video because you're already watching this but uh, you just go to where they insert the script copy it and paste it to your script you have to go to tools up there and choose your panel and when you go to script then you paste it and uh, what you have to do is set up your timer you can write how many minutes you want it if you want it to end like at a certain time for example it's currently 2 o'clock and you want your timer to end at 2.30 but you don't have to, to write 30 minutes you just write 2.30 and it will automatically count down the minutes to that amount of time and uh, yes now I'm going to be showing you how to make a live stream Okay, once you're on YouTube now, all you have to do is press the create button and press go live. So as you can see, now it's loading and uh, uh, you have to wait a couple of seconds obviously until it loads. And then you don't choose the webcam one, choose the stream one. And over here, you can edit your uh, title for the stream. You can do the category and stuff, just you have to press the edit button and you can already say something in the chat. So obviously you have to start the stream though. And this is the most important part. You have to make the stream key. So what is the stream key? The stream key, it's like it's automatically done. And like I can't show you this. If I show you this, you will have access to literally just disturb all my streams and have access to them so never show that to anyone don't even see it yourself just in case all you have to do is press copy and then head back to obs studio so obs studio and then all you have to do is uh, go to the settings so where are the settings 
So yes guys, here I'm just struggling to find settings. Sometimes everyone forgets where this stuff are. But settings is right under studio mode. You press settings and there you press stream. And as you can see over there, mine is already there. But you have to just uh, CTRLV or uh, just right click and paste your stream key. And when that's done, press OK or apply. And you can hit start streaming and then you can literally go live on YouTube. That's it. All that simple process. So now I am going to be telling you some points to remember. I know I already said this, but do not show anyone your stream key. Don't even see it yourself if, if it's possible. Because uh, you don't know who might be watching you. You can even, you might even be hacked, you don't know why, and someone seeing your screen, okay, it, it's not a very common possibility, but yes, just uh, do not uh, see your stream key if you don't need to, it's not really needed to see it, and just hit copy, go to OBS as how I showed you, press CTRL V or Ctrl V, or right click and paste it, and when that's done, you finalize your scenes, we already explained how to do scenes, and hit start streaming to go live. That's all you have to do. So that is how to make a stream with OBS. This video had a bit poor quality. So editing, I didn't edit it, I used Microsoft PowerPoint to make this video. So uh, yes, uh, it uh, was a bit uh, poor, uh, poor quality video, if I say so myself. My mic isn't in its best quality right now. But hopefully it uh, will be back as to normal very soon. But yes, if you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe for more entertainment, gaming and tutorial content. More coming your way. Please subscribe, that's all I'm asking. And thanks for watching. Peace and have a great day.